Have you ever looked at your apartment and thought, there's no way I can grow my own food here? Well, think again. I'm Connor Hebel, and I'm here to tell you how you can turn your apartment into a microgreen paradise. And stay tuned till the end, because I'll reveal a special tip on how you can double your microgreen yield at the end of this video. Hi, I'm Connor, the founder of Amelia Island Microgreens. And if you ever thought you didn't have the space to grow your own food, this is the video for you. I will be going over everything on how to grow your own food right in your own home. Our mission is to educate and empower you to grow your own delicious, nutritious, and economical food. So I've shared with you a couple times that you can grow your own food right at home. I've seen success with many people in growing their own food right in their apartments, their RVs, boats, and there are even people who grow microgreens up in space. So the sky isn't the limit for growing your own food. So how do you grow your own food? What is the secret? The secret is microgreens. Microgreens are the stage right after a sprout. So they're tiny baby vegetables and they take up about that much space. They can take up more or they can take up less depending upon what kind of tray you have. Not only is it small and compact, you can also harvest your microgreens in seven days. That's right, seven days after planting your food, you're already eating it. So for those of you who don't wanna have a big garden and then wait and wait and wait for your food, this is the way to go. It's also 40% more nutrient dense than your mature plants, so it's super healthy for you. And that's why I started growing microgreens. I really got into it because of the health benefits. And then when COVID hit and the produce just got so funky, I created a garden. We took a lot of time, a lot of space, and it just was not sustainable for me. And that's when I realized I needed to share my gift and what has made such a huge difference in my life. So let's get into some of the reasons why microgreens are really gonna help you. So let me help you choose the right spot for growing your microgreens. For the first three days, you're gonna keep your microgreens in a cool, dark space, and this is simulating germination, telling your seeds that it's time to start growing. So that's pretty easy, just like closet, by your kitchen counter, it really doesn't matter where it is as long as it's cool and it's dark. So after day three, you're gonna take your microgreens and put them next to a window. One of the most common places is a kitchen window or a dining room window, really just a window with ambient light. It does not need direct sunlight, so it's really easy to find a great place for it. And I'll share a secret tip on lighting in a few minutes, so be sure to stay tuned for that. It's gonna change everything. Do you have any corners in your small apartment that you think is gonna be perfect for microgreen growing that wouldn't be good for traditional gardening? Be sure to comment below, I'd love to hear. I read all my comments and I'd love to help you find that perfect spot right in your home so you can start growing microgreens. So now what kind of microgreens are gonna be great to grow right in your small home? Well, the great thing is that it doesn't matter what kind of microgreens you grow because they're all gonna use the same tray. So you can grow peas, you can grow broccoli, kale, mustard, wasabi is one of my favorites. I love that one. And in a later video, I'll actually talk more about wasabi. So be sure to stay tuned for that. In my free 10 part series, I will share with you the best types of microgreens to grow for beginners. So be sure to check the comments below and I would love to see you there. So now how do you care for your microgreens? Well, the great thing is, just like the space, it's super simple. If you just lift your two-tier tray up, you put a cup of water in, you put that back down. Once a day, and in seven days, you have microgreens. It is so easy, and it's so fun to watch your little microgreens grow. It's like watching children grow. It's so fast, and it's just the best. You know, they're just so adorable. <laughs> so now for that secret tip I mentioned. Did you know that when plants start to see the sun, they start to reach towards it? So if you notice that your microgreens are starting to lean over, just take your tray and turn it around. That way you get an even growing for your microgreens. If you're finding these tips helpful, be sure to share your love by liking, subscribing, and commenting below what's been your biggest takeaway and do you feel like you can now start growing your microgreens right in your small home? So now let's talk about some creative uses for microgreens. Since you already have a smaller home, having an abundant source of fruits and vegetables and produce, it can get a lot for a fridge that's very small and just a small space in general. I totally get that. 
And that's one of the things I love about microgreens. They're so much more compact, and because they're 40% more nutrient dense, you don't need to eat as many as you do a mature plant to get so many of the benefits. So I'll actually share some secret recipes that I love to eat myself, and I know you'll love it too. What I love to do is I love to cut my microgreens, and I'll just eat a plain. That's a great way to get your nutrition and all those health benefits. Another thing you can do is add them to sandwiches, soups, smoothies, and so many other things. So if you want to know more about how to grow your microgreens right at home, and you want to know how to have these delicious microgreen recipes, then head over to my free 10-part series on everything microgreens. I've been growing microgreens for 12 years, and I want to be your microgreen mentor and teach you everything I know so that you can have the best and most delicious yields of microgreens yet. I look forward to seeing you down there. As always, stay awesome.